Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again. I managed to pick up a Dell PowerEdge R630 server. I got a really good deal on it. And let's crack it open, take a look, check out the specs, and do a little upgrading. So under the hood here we have dual CPUs and these are the Intel E5 2630V3 processor. It's kind of at the bottom of the product line but I bet we can go online and upgrade those pretty quick. Oh wait, I already did. We went from the 8 core 16 thread processor up to a 12 core 24 thread processor which is the E5 2690V3. Now it's not the top of the line, you can run all the way up to the E5 2699 version 4 of the processor which is a 22 core processor and you stack those up you got two 22 core processors, it's 44 cores, 88 threads and it, it, it would just make this thing an absolute beast. Only problem is, is those processors are over 100 bucks a piece. So we're going to go with the 2690V3s and those $15 a piece. So you get some pretty good processing power, just a, a minor processing power upgrade for really cheap. So this chassis runs two power supplies. They're dual 495 watt power supplies. If one dies out, the other one will pick up the slack. It's just a reliability thing for a server. Also have two graphics card slots and I'm not sure at the rating on them, but if I wanted to throw some graphics cards in it, I can definitely do that. I have the risers for them. If I need to, I can use an extension cable and put just about any graphics card that I want in there. Now, since this is made to be in a rack with a bunch of other machines, it's got really compact server fans in it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fans in it. And these things sound like hair dryers. We'll fire it up and uh, let you get a grasp of the true sound of this thing running. That's the power supplies coming to life. All right, contact. Those fans are uh, probably at like 50% right now. They get really, really loud. Now it says we should not run this with the top off of it for more than five minutes. So I'm gonna throw the top on it and uh, we'll check out on the screen and run some uh, benchmarks on it to see how this server here kind of matches up with a modern like gaming PC or modern computer. Yeah, we got all them cores now idling. Anyway, as you can see, we have a 24 core setup, 48 uh, logical processor, so 48 threads, 60 megabytes L3 cache, and the base clock on this processor is 2.6. It will go up to about 3.0, eh, 3.1, uh, depending on what kind of workload you're putting on it. So anyway, let's throw this into uh, Cinebench and do a CPU test on it. Alright, so our results are in. Uh, Cinebench multi-thread, it does 17,442. And as you can see, that's uh, just slightly faster than the Threadripper 1950X, which is a 16-core 32-thread machine but it also has a lot higher clock speed. So I'd say the big difference between that and a Threadripper is the Threadripper pulls about 180 watts on its single processor and using two of these processors together you're gonna to pull about 270 watts. However, with the price of the hardware itself versus the price of newer hardware, this is still a really good machine that you can turn into like a home media PC, uh, do a little crypto mining on the side, but I wouldn't want to run this as, you know, a heavy load computer all the time 
just because your power bill would be phenomenal. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found something informative. And until next time, build stuff and have fun.